ज्योति फ्रॉम गुजरात आचार्य जी प्रणाम हैव रिसीव्ड सो मेनी मेडिटेटिव प्रैक्टिस इन लाइफ बाई मीन्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन और बाई मीटिंग मैनी एनलाइटेंड मास्टर्स एंड आई एम अनेबल टू गेट वॉट टू फॉलो ऑल गेव डिफरेंट मेथड्स इवन इफ द माइंड इंटेंड्स टू फॉलो द मेथड्स इट गेट्स कन्फ्यूज एज टू वॉट टू फॉलो ज्योति देन यू हैव कम टू द रॉन्ग पर्सन इन दिस वर्ल्ड वी आर नथिंग इज डेफिनेट ऑफ वन थिंग आई एम वेरी डेफिनेट आई एम नॉट इनलाइटेंड एंड यू हैव ऑलरेडी मेट सो मेनी इनलाइटेंड मास्टर्स वंडरफुल थिंग इज ऑल द इनलाइटेंड मास्टर्स हैव ओनली कन्फ्यूज हर नाउ हाउ कैन दिस अन एनलाइटेंड वन क्लियर द कन्फ्यूजन ज्योति I swear by Lata's anger that I am not and would never be enlightened in this life. Of that one thing, I am definitely sure. No enlightenment for me. Jyoti, Kate, where have you been roaming? Hmm. Little kids wandering out at night, meeting enlightened ghosts, and getting scared and confused. I am a normal human being. Jyoti, if you are confused. How are you not equally confused in whether or not those guys were enlightened? If one is confused, one ought to be confused about a lot of things. No, confusion, after all, is more fundamental than any particular matter of confusion. The confused mind would not find clarity in any matter, or would it? Or do you want to tell me that you are confused about everything but this? Of this, you are very sure. One doesn't go to meet enlightened masters for the simple reason that enlightenment does not make itself known in a crude. or demonstrative way the others enlightenment is actually your own what you call as the light of your eyes is it not the same as the light of the world and if you don't have light in your eyes can you see any light in the world Hmm? can you so without being enlightened yourself how did you discover that those masters were enlightened hmm? now let me drop you a hint if one searches one can only search in the same dimension one is in fish don't climb trees and pigs don't fly do they if you admit that you are confused and you go out to buy even a sari won't you end up making a wrong choice similarly if confusion is your state and you go out to meet and choose teachers obviously you would be choosing wrongly the right one comes to you as a serendipitous occurrence you understand serendipity good luck the right one comes to you as a matter of chance 
He does not come to you as a matter of your planning. You don't say, oh, I am going to visit my 14th enlightened master today. The 13 ones, first 13 ones haven't worked. So I am going to meet the 14th enlightened one. First of all, look at the arrogance contained in your statement. Only then can I come to your question. You are so utterly sure of yourself. And then you tell me I am confused. First of all, admit that you have been making fallacious choices. And only then can I say something to you. You say you have met many enlightened masters. If enlightenment is what it is, as traditionally asserted, then even one should have been sufficient. And even meeting one is considered a rare occurrence. And here you are having met many and still confused. First of all, clear your mind. First of all, get rid of hazy notions and then I will take up your question. I do not belong to the same stream as those of the so-called enlightened people. That's a stream that I never bothered to even look at. Unless you rid yourself of the obsession with that stream, you will not be near me to find help. Look at the stream more carefully, closely, honestly. And then if you feel like quitting that stream, come over to me.